Hey, the Daily Ticker brought to you by Pelican Brewing. Visit pelicanbrewing.com for more details on locations, events, and award-winning beers independently brewed since 1996. Pelican Brewing, born at the beach. Uh, excited for this one, man. The Winterhawks are hosting the WHL Finals starting this weekend. Game one on Friday, game two on Saturday. They're taking on Moose Job. And joining us now on the Daily Ticker is good friend of the program, Kyle Gustafson, assistant head coach, Portland native. He's been around the organization a long time. We've had him on many times over the years. Um, Kyle, first off, good morning to you, man. Walk me through the reception that you guys got at the airport the other night because that was such a cool scene. It's one of those unique cases where now you get to fly. You don't have to take one of these 13-hour bus rides. What was that like getting back in town and seeing the reaction from the fans? Yeah, no kidding. It was uh, it was worth it, that's for sure. Uh, Fifteen hours on a bus isn't ideal, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, actually, first of all, I just want to say uh, thanks for having me on the on the show. I know Sprague likes talking about hockey, so this is a good segment to have. Blue line, Brandon. <laughs> um, but the flight was awesome. It was uh, you know things are moving quick here. It's uh, to to wrap things up in six. Actually, Mike Johnson, myself, we, we took the early flight out of Prince George mm. uh, because we're preparing for our WHL draft this morning. So we had a lot to do in a short amount of time. So we, we took an early flight. But the guys, uh, you, you see the, you know, the Twitter posts and, and what's going on. The guys are talking about the next day, just the reception from the fans. And, you know, the fans are really behind our group. And I think that's what makes our, our organization special is we have loyal fans. Uh, they're in it. They're in it for the long run, and uh, to be a part of this run that we have coming up is is quite special. All right, what do we need to hate about this team? What is it about Moose Jaw that uh, I need to pay attention to that's <laughs> going to get me to go, I really don't like them now? Because obviously the title is on the line here, but I'm, I'm curious what the scouting report says about Moose Jaw that makes me as a fan go, all right, I know where to lock in right now. <laughs> well, they're, they're loaded with talent. Um, you know, they have a lot of names on their team that, you know, they represent Team Canada and, and the World Junior, and they've got four or five guys that are game changers. So they're they're loaded. They're, they're highly skilled, highly talented, um, you know, veteran group. They're, they're, there's no secret. They've kind of loaded up for this moment, um, you know. So if you look at maybe pure game breakers, they have a lot of them. And, uh, but that's okay. We, we have a great team. We're, we're prepared for this. Uh, our guys, I think if you look at our secret sauce, it's just maybe how close knit we are. I know it sounds cliche, but um, I don't know if I've been on a team that's been this tight of a group and, and in it to win it from uh, maybe a cohesion standpoint. I think we're, you know, we're top to bottom. We're set. We're, we're ready to go. And no question. We're excited. Kyle is the, 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 the close, the connectiveness of a team, I, I think we all as sports fans, like when you see it, you, you can identify it, you feel it. Did you feel that like day one or is it something that you, it took a couple weeks? Like when you talk about how close the team is, how connected they are, is that something you pick up on day one with this group? Well, that's a good question. I think yes and no. Um, we, we have guys here that have been together since they've been 16 years old and now it's their moment. Um, they're – you know, now 1920, our core group has been here since day one. We, we make few trades. We don't make a lot of trades. So to have our homegrown talent, so to speak, uh, to now be in this prime, um, I wouldn't say that it's something that I'm just shocked by now, but there's little lear learning lessons along the way. Like we had some key players go down during this playoff stretch and just the way we're kind of banded together. And, you know, there's been injuries. Carter Southern goes down with a massive shot block in game six. And, uh, and doesn't return. So now we're down to, you know, four defensemen and a defenseman that's playing his first Western Hockey League game and a double overtime scenario. There's no question that at that point the, gr the group's got to band together. We're talking with Kyle Gustafson, assistant head coach for the Winterhawks, good friend of the program as they get set to host the WHO final starting this Friday and Saturday against Moose Jaw at the Coliseum. I, there's probably not many tickets left, so go jump on them if you haven't yet. The atmosphere is going to be awesome. Kyle, you mentioned the, the close-knit group in the locker room. One of the guys who I'm just assuming is going to wear the C on his jersey next year, who continues to blow me away is Kyle Chazowski. Back-to-back years in a, as an assistant captain, um, I, you know, him all the way back in game one against Victoria really stood out. You guys got off to kind of a slow start. He just is a grinder, man. Winning battles, bringing the energy. He turns into Connor McDavid in the second round, scoring goals left and right. The dude's got no teeth, breaks the seal in game two in PG. Like, what have you seen from him and how big of a boost has he been, not only just from a locker room moral standpoint, but what he's given you guys on the ice right now? Yeah. 
it, you're, you're right about the no teeth. I think he took two pucks to the face over the course of the season and gets right back up and uh, he wants to get back on the ice right away. But, um, you know, there's, there's unsung heroes throughout the course of the season and, and they start to emerge during the playoffs. No question right now, Kyle's one of our, one of a lot of guys really that's driving our, our group and, um, you know, put him in any role, whether it's uh, a player goes down on the power play, he's got to fill a void, uh, top penalty killer, late game guy, and the production that he's getting, even five on five, is is uh, is off the charts right now. So he, his leadership and just the quality of person, I think, is the biggest thing with Kyle. Yeah. He's, he's such a good guy. Um, I've seen segments with you, Dirt, and Kyle where. You guys are going back and forth, and you know maybe in the future he's got a he's got a spot in radio. But he, he's unbelievable. Like he's I can't say enough about this guy, and um, he's he's driving our group right now. He's gonna Wally pit me one of these days. I know it's gonna, gonna take your gig. He's taking my gig. Yeah. Well, I mean, Kyle, I, let, let's be fair, okay? Because Dirt Dirt's a good dude. We we both like Dirt a lot, but Dirt calls these games, and he's 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 not a former hockey legend in any way. I still have all my teeth. I'm not losing any teeth. And I would argue it's disappointing he hasn't done this for you guys on the CW. Dude, you wrote that here! Oh, look at that! What, what do you think? Is, is Dirt lacking in the color analyst role for your winter Hawks on the CW right now? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because um, <clears throat> when, when you guys played that segment, several months ago, that might have been my top five moments of Penny the fan dirt and spray. And if you guys ever call call in sick and or on the golf course and call in sick, however you guys want to look at that, I hope that makes the best up show for sure. <laughs> yeah, I remember you texting me when we were playing that, just laughing about the, you know, the junior league it was coming from. I yeah, that was an all time moment. I um one of the things that stood out to me, Kyle, I'm curious to get your perspective on it. I know you have a lot to do with the power play unit and the penalty kill and what, Nate Danielson, you know, was like, all right, top 10 pick. Like, I know this guy's talented, obviously, but I didn't see him play a ton until he comes over for you guys. And he just see, he seems to be everywhere at once. He seems to be a step ahead. The way he's setting guys up throughout the postseason, I know the goal numbers maybe don't jump off the page, but the points do. Um, and a lot of guys are benefiting from his play. Just what, what was that addition like going and making one of those kind of all-in moves that you guys don't always do? And how has he helped you guys here in this stretch run? Well, again, he's a he's a guy that um, I can't say enough about. He going back to his WHL or Western Hockey League Bantam drafter. He was my favorite player in watching that group. Um, so I've always liked Dan, uh, Danny as a player. And then, you know, you see him getting selected in the NHL draft and where he goes, Detroit Red, Red Wings. Um, you know, top ten guy. Uh, and then the, the chance to get our our hands on him and, and work with him and. This guy's the real deal. Um, he's he's a guy that when the trade deadline came around, we had an idea he might be available, and he was instantly our target. Um, and it's not for what he does on the power play or, or what he does on five on five. It's, it's how he can drive a group and his leadership skills and his abilities uh, to, to calm a group down. And um, if, if, there's a, if there's something to, to be said for, for Nate Danielson, a I wish we had more time with him because yeah. as a coaching staff, we can learn so much from a player like this. And he's a special quality. There's no question about that. And he's fit in day one, and we can't say enough about him. Can we get a guarantee victory in a suck at moose jaw, or is that going a bit far right now? <laughs> right. It's not Mark Messier here, Spray. Yeah, like, come on, we man. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> got to go game one here, man. Come well, on. I'll say it. That we can't suck have, at Moose Jaw. can't have any bulletin board material out there for the opponent. Um, la- last I'll tell one. you what, Craig, we'll get you, uh, we'll get you on the charter to Moose Jaw if you're available. <laughs> yeah. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in, baby. How exciting. I mean, isn't that one of the – I mean, look, you obviously want to get to the final, but getting to that point where you get the charter flights. Now, explain to me how this works because I believe both teams are on the same charter. So, like, is there a barrier? How do you separate? How does that work? Well, this is our well. This is my personal fifth time uh, in the WHL final. So every year, and I assume it's the same same way this year. Is the home team will will load the charter. Then there's league officials that kind of sit in the middle of the plane, and then uh-huh. maybe the visiting team up front. But if you're asking if there's a card game in the back amongst the two teams, I don't think that's happening. And he, who's who's the player most? You got to keep an eye on the flight the most. Is it Davies? Is that the guy you got to keep an eye on the flight the most? I don't know. Um, 
in the back of the bus, there's a lot of cards. I know that. And, yeah. And it's with the, the the core group of the guys, but yeah. But it, speaking of Josh, it's nice having him back in the lineup. I'll tell you that. Yeah, you asking great. him in the back? He's in the front in he's, first class. Yeah, he's, he's sleeping up. on this flight, man. Yeah. Getting Davies back, him scoring the game winner, man. That was that was so fun. He was shot out of out of a cannon in the postseason. It's been fun to watch him get his first chance here in the WHL playoffs. Um, best of luck, man. Thanks for hopping on, Kyle Gustafson, assistant head coach for the Portland Winterhawks. Good friend of the program. A P one listens, and we we love supporting the local teams. The WHL final starts on Friday night, game one. Saturday night, game two. Tickets available. Winterhawks atmosphere is going to be great good luck Kyle go check it out thanks for the time man good luck this weekend and and throughout the whole series and, and bring home another championship to Portland okay all right thanks guys really appreciate your support absolutely there you go Kyle Gustafson good uh, friend of the show good friend of the show p1 when we were talking the, we were night dwellers he was a friend of the show he was he's been on he's been a fan for a long time when we did the uh where did it go look at this look at that <laughs> he was texting me throughout that segment just laughing it was so we kept playing it over and over and over again <laughs> he was like oh I know that junior league I know where those broadcasters are from so thanks again for Kyle uh, it's an awesome story man go check him out this weekend it's I don't know how many tickets are left but it should be a ton of fun uh they're hosting the WA Final when it starts on Friday night.